I welcome you all to the next lecture in our anthropology series. So, uh, we are doing our weekly answer writing series and uh, the topic that we are doing uh, in our anthropology series also is uh, uh, chapter number 10 in which we are trying to study about human growth and development right. So, the question also have uh, taken up from the same topic. So, the question is stages of pre uh, human prenatal development and this question is for 10 marker and this is a 2022 uh, exam question only. So, very recently this question has been asked stages of human prenatal development. So, as, uh, as we have studied already also uh, I have covered all the stages whether they are the prenatal or the postnatal ones. I have covered them very very uh, uh, you know in, in utmost detail because I know this topic uh, can, ca can come individually also. Just say in abhi 10 marker mein they have asked prenatal development. So, I thought that ye part the, the prenatal part is a little difficult also. So, we had already done it in uh, day 127. So, anybody who has not watched that video can go and watch anthropology series day 127 video. So, everything is covered in a lot more detail. Today, here we are only going to do how we have to structure the answer for this question. Okay, the, the explanation part, all the, uh, all the material regarding this topic is uh, present and I have explained in date 127. So, you can go back and watch there, but today we are only going to structure this question, right. So, you can just further uh, do it up with the day 127. So, let us let us start with it. Now, you can just see this picture and maybe you can draw a little bit also. So, you can just see that you can draw something like this as a as a pre-developmental stage. So, we can uh, divide the gestation period. So, all the part which is the prenatal part when the baby is inside the womb of the mother is also known as the gestation period. So, you can call it prenatal period, gestation period, anything you can call it, right. So, in gestation period, we have three stages. First is the germinal stage, okay, okay, let, let us just write it and try to, uh, you know, write it the way we want, right, in the exam also. So, gestation period is there gestation period is divided into three parts. First is your germinal period or just go you can also say fertilization period when the fertilization of egg happens with the ova. So, this, this uh, roughly uh, is from the time the egg, egg gets fertilized to two weeks fertilization to you can say two weeks ka time right so this is the first stage this is the first stage second stage is the formation of embryo so embryonic stage is the next one which lasts roughly from two second week to eight weeks right and then we have our third stage which is the fetal stage where the formation of fetus takes place right. So, fetal stage is the third which roughly uh, you know 8 weeks to you can say till the birth of the child. So, these are the three stages in the prenatal stage that you have to write. Now, the question is for 10 marker that is that means that there are two pages that you have to write. So, first you will uh, start it by uh, you know uh, writing that the human uh, prenatal development is the first stage of development because uh, first stage of development in the mother's womb. So, it is the first stage of development and uh, one of the most important ones because herein whatever that you are going to be as a person right is, is going to be determined on this phase only right. So, prenatal is the phase where the baby is uh, developing and growing inside the, inside the womb of the mother. So, it is it is having a intra-uterine intra environment that means the environment is not uh, the, the 
the outside of the uterine that means whatever environment is there that is inside the womb of the mother right so it's a very protected space it's a very it's a it's a place where mother mother's body supports the baby okay and and the baby has not yet formed so then this is how you will start and you then then you'll write about that it has three phases one is the uh, germinal stage then the embryonic and the fetal stage and then you have to write about all the three in detail so when we talk about the first stage that is the germinal stage we have already said and you have to write like ki germinal stage is the stage where ova uh, is fertilized by the sperm right so the fertilization takes place and here this single cell now starts to multiply so it starts to multiply and and further it will become a very complex human being which is like which has 8 billion cells right so a a human being an adult human being will have more than these many uh, cells right so this single cell will start to multiply and grow so it will also increase in size so size increase hona start ho jata hai and multiplication of cells multiplication of cells start to happen right so uh, now let's go to the slide and uh, read about it so jo prenatal phase hai that is divided into three phases we have talked about it then the period of uh, prenatal growth is significantly important to the child's future well being the fact remains that this is the period about which certainly we do not have much knowledge so this is what you have to write in the beginning also that this is the most important because whatever happens any genetic disorder which takes place theek hai is is going to reflect in the in the prenatal phase itself and then the baby would be born with that kind of a problem or any other thing for example a mother you know is is not able to have good nutrition at this time so it will reflect on the child or if the mother is a uh, is is taking alcohol consuming alcohol or taking uh, any kind of uh, uh, steroids or you know she is uh, smoking at that time so this also will have the impact on the baby and that that effect an impact will be a lifelong impact on that human being then so that is why this phase is very very important the first and the very important phase where the baby is supported by the mother so first stage is the germinal phase where the egg fertilizes theek hai and 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 what is responsible for that selection of one uh, you know sperm out of a million we have no idea about it so itna in information is not there this was the first stage and i don't think there is any doubt about this then comes your uh, you know the embryonic stage so this time the cell starts to divide in the in the uh, in the uh, germinal stage also it starts to uh, divide and it will keep on dividing in the next two uh, next two phases also right so all the three phases the baby will significantly grow in size you can just see uh, this is the first stage this is the second stage and this is the third stage so you can see the baby is constantly growing so is phase mein there is a there is a big amount of growth and development that takes place so we have talked about growth is just increase in size and multiplication of cells development is uh, more than growth right so there is a physical development there is a mental development there is a uh, there is development of organs specialization that's happening so there is a lot of uh, things that encompass within the developmental procedure ठीक है सो इन दिस इन दिस सेकेंड स्टेज नाउ दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द एम्ब्रियोनिक स्टेज द ब्लास्टोसिस्ट दैट इज द आउटर लेयर दैट मीन्स द ब्लास्टोसिस्ट इज देयर विद इन द यूट्रीन ऑफ द मदर एंड नाउ दिस स्टार्ट्स टू डेवलप दिस ब्लास्टोसिस्ट फर्दर डेवलप्स इन टू एंडोडर्म एंड एक्टोडर्म सी गाइज यहाँ पे आई एम गोइंग अ लिटिल बिट फास्टर because this we have already done so anybody who is not understanding anything you can go back and watch the day 127 video right here we are only trying to structure our answer right according to a 10 marker question so blastocyst becomes endoderm and ectoderm endoderm is uh, your inside uh, uh, insider part and ectoderm is the outer part which becomes your skin your nails your hair so ectoderm 
will become your skin, hair, nails, etc. And endoderm will become your inside organs, right? For example, your uh, your your heart, your kidney. So inside organs becomes the endoderm. So clearly, from a single cell, the 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 uh, the embryo has started to become a lot more complex and this is these are the changes which uh, which culminate in the formation of the placenta which gives nourishment to the fetus and this uh, this uh, blastocyst ha uh, is the thing which also has placenta which gives the nourishment to the child which takes the excreta out of the body of the child okay so this is this is one cord uh, through which the nourishment protection all of that is done okay so the period of the embryo is considered to begin two weeks after the fertilization and ends eight weeks humne baat kar liye. the child now is recognizably human because the blastocyst has uh, now specialized into or you can say further uh, you know evolved into an endoderm ectoderm and you can see that there is a formation of child that is taking place with its arms and legs, a heart, a nervous system. So, a development procedure has now to take place. So, first stage may there was more of you can say growth that was taking place. But from the second stage onwards, development starts to take place. And then you have to write about the third and the last stage that is the fetal stage. And one more thing you can add in the embryonic stage is most of the genetic defects happen in this second phase. So anything that is when you know uh, you uh, decide ki maybe you whether you want to go for an abortion or not because any uh, many times the genetic defects start to surface in this period. And this period, uh, you ca you have to take a lot of care because anything which happens to the child, you can uh, see it and it will have a larger bearing on the child for the rest of its life. So, fetal uh, stage is the last stage, okay, till the birth of the child from, you can say from 8 weeks to the birth of the child is the uh, fetal stage. And this stage is by far the most active. There is rapid growth that, that takes place. Uh, embryo is now vulnerable to environmental influences also. So, all development defects occur in uh, this and embryonic stage. The first bone starts to appear in the 12th week. Embryo becomes the fetus in this final stage of gestation. This, uh, this uh, fetus stage is active. Then the baby uh, can kick. You know, you, uh, you can hear the hiccups and the baby responds to stimulus. So, you can feel the womb, okay? You can feel the child doing activities. So, it is not all the time like you can say not sleeping all the time. So, it is active at many times. It is responding to you and the external stimulus also. So, I hope there is no doubt and you have to write this much only. In the fetal stage, you third stage. Karke. This much also if you will write, this is more than enough. Is zada nobody is going to ask and as you can see the question had come so you have enough uh, to put this is the second stage and this is the first stage so this much information for a 10 marker even for a 15 marker is enough and you don't need to write more than this so in conclusion uh, then you can write that uh, so this is one uh, the first stage where the development uh, is uh, exponential okay from from a single cell to a complex human being right so uh, this much you can write in the conclusion and i hope uh, you guys liked the lecture if you did please like share and subscribe guys thank you any uh, doubts please post in the comment section below i'll be happy to answer thank you